if you cannot measure it, you cannot control it. That's a powerful phrase from William Thompson. Measuring, I think, is something that is really important whilst you are bulking or cutting, because it is going to tell you with tangible results, with actual data, uh, whether you are going towards the right path, you know, whether you are going to achieve your goal, or whether you need to make some adjustments in order to get to that goal. And as we all know by this point, I hope, is that calorie consumption is the main factor that is going to determine weight loss or weight gain. Some general guidelines is that if you are on a bulk, you should consume around 200 to 300 calories above your maintenance calories, which is your TDEE. And if you are on a cut, you should consume around 250 to 500 calories less than your maintenance calories. The general idea that many people go with is that you should keep track of your daily food consumption so you can, you know, keep track of your daily calories and with that you will know if you are need to adjust your calories, if you need to eat more or to eat less. Many people use my fitness pal for this purpose. Now counting your calories has a bit of a problem that I know that if you have tried to count your calories in the past you have maybe found this that it can become a little bit exhausting for example if you are not always uh, eating the exact same foods every single day it can become a little bit exhausting measuring every single food every single quantity that goes into your system another problem is that maybe you go to a restaurant or to a friend's house and you eat there you are not going to have the exact measurements of food that they used in order to prepare that meal so you know that can become a little bit mentally exhausting for some people men included so you know for us recreational lifters that are you know going to compete in a bodybuilding show in a powerlifting meeting you know we can take a different approach so here is an alternative that i actually use in order to keep track of my progress and it is actually easier and equally as efficient whether you are bulking or cutting so what you're going to do is that we with the help of a scale, you are going to measure your weight every single day at the exact same time. This is really important, it needs to be at the exact same time every single day. For example, I like to hop on the scale as soon as I wake up, you know, first thing in the morning. Some people like to go to a bathroom, take a piece and then uh, measure themselves in the scale. It's really up to you, but you need to do it consistently at the exact same time. Now, with that weight that you got, you are going to now put it in a weight tracker app. Now, my fitness pal has this function incorporated, but I like to use an app called Simple Weight Tracker. I'm going to leave the link down below, which has a function that is going to be really helpful for us. So that's why I advise that you get that one, because it is going to be the most helpful uh, for the method that we are going to use. Although we know that your weight can vary a lot depending on way many factors, such as hormonal factors, water weight, uh, what you ate as your last meal, you know, so on and so forth if we keep that consistent tracking and we give it a weekly trend we are actually going to be able to have a way clearer perspective of how our weight is behaving now that's why i advise that you use the simple weight tracker because with that you are going to get a weekly trend you know for the multiple locations that you have measured yourself so with that you are going to be able to know if you are making good progress or if you need to make some adjustment into your diet. Now, what are my recommendations on how your weekly trend should look like? So, if for example you are on a bulk, you should aim to gain around 0.5 to 1 pound per week. And if you are on a cut, you should aim to lose 1 to 2 pounds per week. These numbers, however, can vary depending on the individual. So, for example, if you are extremely obese and you hop on a cut, maybe you will experience some additional fat loss. So, you know, you can expect more fat loss than just 2 pounds a week. Or if, for example, you are a person that, uh, you know, took a break from training and now it's coming back in a calorie surplus, you can expect to gain more weight than just one pound a week. You know, that happened to me. However, those are pretty general guidelines that are going to work for the vast majority of people. Now, if you are in the ranges that I gave you, you know, if you are a pretty average person, you are doing pretty good so you know continue on your bulk or on your cut and you know 
eat in the same way that you are eating and train in the same way that you have been training. Now, for example, if you are on a bulk and you are seeing that you are gaining less than that in a week with your weekly trend, you might want to do some small changes into your diet to actually fit in more calories. So, you know, if for lunch you are having 100 grams of cooked white rice, you may want to increase that number to let's say 200 grams or if for example you see that you are gaining too much weight like let's say for example two pounds a week now you maybe want to consider to do a small changes that actually adjust your calories back down so you know if you are eating 200 grams of rice for lunch decrease it to 100 grams you get the idea ah, and the same ideas actually work but in the opposite way for cutting. The idea is that you strive to be between those ranges and if you go below or above you make small changes into your diet so you can keep making progress in a good and healthy way. If you have any questions about this method you can comment them down below. Share this video with a friend that you think will benefit from this information because I think this is really valuable. That's everything for now, have a beautiful day.